I am in pain. Pain from the spine to my brain, and it leaves me drained. Feeling the hail and the rain from the inside as the outside watches my shame. Shame I gather from the looks of the Sunday passerbys and the catcalls of the late night lot because there is no spot or road or way where I am not on display. I nor my love can walk with a high held chin when so many people wish to tear us limb from limb, wish to poke and prod my heart until the blood runs freely over the knots that have become my muscles, taught from paddles always fought, always fighting, always putting up barricades to protect our fragile frames, socialized to be feminine and sweet, yet attacked for the way our hearts beat. We are parading in the streets, but we are charading in the sheets, ambushed by the voices that do not wish to see us, and sickened by the eyes that only want to strip us. When lips touch, they whip us with words that they think up with hate and with ignorance, and with steaming lust that cannot be contained. So all my dreams are muffled by screams and protests and politics and low-life hicks, and it never stops. Three letters condemned me, a confession that sends me straight to hell. Or so the literature tells. Is that just what sells? The church-vending merch is what makes my stomach lurch because you hide behind your husbands and your Bibles even though there is no need to make us rivals. Now the Supreme Court of America is in our bedrooms discussing what constitutes a bride and a groom? We've dispatched our platoon, all gay, from the womb. There, I said it. The word that has sent so many across the globe to their tombs. K okay is okay, yet so many to this day let us pass away. Death penalties rip families apart. All because of one rogue heart that felt the need to be complete. Well, I am not complete until my brothers and sisters across the globe can disrobe without being probed. Because they are in pain, too. A whole lot of people are in pain. 